Chapter 2 Thermochemistry Hess's Law At the end of this chapter, students should be able to state Hess's Law, apply Hess's Law to calculate enthalpy changes using the algebraic method and the energy cycle method. 3. Illustrate the dissolution process of ionic solids. A thermochemical equation is a balanced chemical equation with its corresponding enthalpy change. The following guidelines are useful when considering thermochemical equations. 1. Always specify the physical states of reactants and products because they help determine the actual enthalpy changes. Compare the two equations. Note when the difference states, the enthalpies will also be different. 2. When multiplying a thermochemical equation by a factor, multiply the delta H value with the same factor. 3. Reversing an equation changes the sign but not the magnitude of the enthalpy change. Hess's law. Hess's law states that the energy change in an overall chemical reaction is equal to the sum of the energy changes in the individual reactions comprising it. In this example, the formation of product can either occur by root A or by combination of root B and C. In other words, delta H root A is equal to delta H root B minus delta H root C. Please note, when you draw an enthalpy change, if you follow the direction of an arrow then add. If it is opposite or against the direction of the arrow, then subtract or put in a negative sign. The use of Hess's law. Hess's law is used to calculate enthalpy change which cannot be, be determined by experiment such as experiment using calorimeter. There are two calculation methods. The first one is known as the energy cycle method, while the other one is called the algebraic method. Let's look at the example of both methods. In this example, we want to find the standard enthalpy formation of ethane C2H6 based on the following data. In this example, we will determine the formation of ethane indirectly using calculation and not by experiment. Using Hess's law by algebraic method, there are three steps. Step 1. Write the target equation. The target equation is enthalpy of formation of ethane. Step 2. Write thermochemical equation for the given enthalpy change. 
please note in the question there are three enthalpy changes value given those are a b and c step 3 arrange the thermochemical equation listed in step 2 according to the target equation so that all species will cancel out except for reactants and products that appear in the target equation the target equation Equation A will be multiplied by 2. Equation B will multiply by 3. And equation C will be reversed. So, when there is the same species on the right and left hand side of the equation, it will be cancelled. So when you add up what is left, you will get the target equation and the sum of the delta H will give you the enthalpy change that we want to consider. Method B energy cycle method in this method you will draw an energy cycle and apply Hess law to calculate the unknown value so what the unknown value is the enthalpy of formation and we will use the enthalpy change given to solve this problem the energy cycle is made up of delta H1, delta H2, and delta H3. To calculate the delta HF or the enthalpy of formation with the question mark, We do the calculation. So 2 times delta H1 plus 3 times delta H2 plus delta H3 and we get the value to be 84 kilojoules per mole. Enthalpy of solution or dissolution. It is the heat change when one mole of a substance is dissolved in water to form a solution of infinite dilution. Example, one mole of sodium chloride is dissolved to the cation sodium plus and the anion sodium minus in aqueous solution. When anionic solids such as sodium chloride dissolves in water, the dissolution process occurs or can be broken down in two successive steps. The first step is known as the lattice enthalpy, where the crystal lattice is broken up into its constituent gases ion. 
The second step is called the hydro hydration process where the gases ion are hydrated due to the attraction between ions and dipoles of the water molecules. In this example, we will calculate the enthalpy of solution of potassium chloride if its lattice energy is negative 690 kilojoules per mole and the enthalpy of hydration is negative 672.8 kilojoules per mole. We will determine whether this process absorb or release heat. The solution. Using the energy cycle method, the equation for enthalpy of solution is given. We will calculate delta H1 which is enthalpy of solution. Given two other process which is delta H2 lattice energy please note that the lattice energy value is negative 690 whereas the delta h2 in the energy cycle is 690 this is because the reaction has been reversed okay so therefore the negative the sign negative has been converted to the positive sign delta h3 is the hydrate enthalpy of hydration which is negative 672.8 kilojoule per mole So when we do the calculation, delta H1 is equal to delta H2 plus delta H3, we will get the value of positive 17.2 kilojoule. This process absorbs heat. Note that the enthalpy, standard enthalpy of solution is equal to negative lattice energy plus hydration, enthalpy of hydration. Thank you.